political analyst Benjamin Kuti joins me on the news. To unpack this, Benjamin, good to see you. Now, far-right candidate has accused France of doing some evil to Africa. Good evening, Salamia. Thank you. Thank you for having me on board indeed. Um, yeah, Giorgio Belloni, she's new, new on the block, uh, one of the uh, uh, first female prime minister of Italy. She's only 45 years old. Um, I mean, I'm actually surprised when I when I watched the video because Italy itself did participate in the war in Libya. Um, I, was, I mean, they provided jets, provided uh, weapons for, for the European missions with France. And when they came to invade them, um, the war in Libya. And of course, also, Italy, um, what's it called, tried to, to obviously to make sure um, to make uh, Italian language, you know, mandatory in, in Libyan schools. So I'm surprised when she had to go out of France. But then we shouldn't be surprised. The rising of far right in Europe lately, and like we look at France, Marie Le Pen, even the UK, we have a, um, a gentleman called Tommy Robinson for the English League Defence. So all this is, is in the rise. So what she's trying to do is um, trying to get more votes on board. And I mean, I don't think they tell us that too, but I will happen in Africa. So all this application is the whole anti-France uh, gimmicks, the anti-EU gimmicks, I think it's just what it is. I don't think we should take that too serious. But yeah, that's what it is. Thank you, Salam. Uh, and Benjamin, could, could such accusations be said to be related to the anti-France sentiments and protests uh, we have seen in a few African countries, uh, uh, for instance, uh, the Sahel region and elsewhere? Well, well, I mean, in, in all honesty, I mean, when you look at the, the French history itself, I mean, the likes of President Macron, we had the, um, now, we had, obviously, you had the ex-president of Nicola Sarkozy, France, Holland. The French have actually haven't done too bad in Africa, in, in all fairness. And obviously, we all know Africa is not uh, where it should be today. Uh, but so far, so good, the French are doing well. You look at their politics in the likes of um, Ivory Coast, uh, Niger Republic, Mali, Senegal, Guinea. I mean, apart from the issues in Senegal, I don't know if you, you guys saw what happened in the United Nations that happened last week. The Senegalese president, interim president, did accuse France of a, a backstab uh, before withdrawing the troops in Senegal because, of course, uh, Mali is fighting uh, the war against terrorism. And I think it was in February when President Macron did pull back, uh, what's it called, the, the troops in Mali. He pulled them back to, to Paris. I think apart from that, just, just what it is. The whole anti-France uh, issue from Giorgio Melani, for me, we should also not forget that Giorgio Melani, uh, Melani she's also good friends with Marine Le Pen. Marine Le Pen, the national far right from France, they're very, very good friends. And of course, Macron just got re-elected. We should also not forget that uh, uh, Le Pen came second, the national front leader in France, uh, the far right, she came second. She's very good friends with Giorgio Melani. So of course, I mean, the whole anti-France game is going to come along. And of course, now that Giorgio Melen is the first prime minister of Italy, of course, she's, this is going to be in the news almost daily basis. She's Certainly, the they, uh, this is already making headlines. And uh, before I let you go, Benjamin, uh, let's look at Meloni's political slant, uh, which you've uh, touched uh, a little bit uh, earlier on. Not very pro-immigration. Uh, what challenges will this new political far-right pose for Africa and Africans. Well, well, the truth is our far right of uh, the very anti-immigrants, for example. You know, obviously, we look at a lot of migrants from the likes of um, uh, Mali, all these worlds are coming to Europe. I think the issue with Africans itself, racism as well, I mean, anti-immigrant uh, policies, and of course, as an African in Europe, in these countries, you're probably likely to be attacked. Because what it means, I think uh, Medjugorje Melani won about 26% votes in Italy. So that tells you that the, the Italian uh, citizens are not happy with, with the level of migration in their country. And I'm afraid it will, it will lead to a lot of racist attacks on blacks, I mean, on Africans in that, in that kind of country. And I'm hoping the European Union will stand up um, to put a stop to it. And of course, uh, the whole level of migration. But at the end of the day, what it tells us the Africans that, you know, in Africa, we also need to demand for good governance to make sure our citizens are living a good standard of life. No citizens traveling abroad just to make ends meet. That's what it is. For me, the, the, the outcome of Juju Melani, I think, is, is bad for, for Africa. I think it's bad as a, for Africans living in Europe. It's going to definitely raise a lot of issues here when it comes to racism and, of course, racist attacks against Africans. Benjamin Kuti, many thanks for speaking with us.